Good afternoon everybody, how are we all doing? I parked up today, had my appointment when to go in, I've got about five minutes so I'm going to quickly have a little natter before I go in. Yeah, got fed up with the face. Ah, it's a little squirrel. School just running up a tree. So, I don't know what's going up with Ronnie, one of my cats has not come home again. I don't think I mentioned this yesterday, but what day are we on Friday? He went out about lunchtime and he's still not come home. So I'm starting to feel a bit, because I thought I can't lose another cat. Not so soon. Well, I don't want to lose a cat full stop, but you know what I mean. I'm just, I'm still struggling to get over Alfie. Now I was watching on TikTok a psychic medium <clears throat> and she, someone asked her a question about can you fairy babies be your soulmate? And I think she said, yeah, because, oh, what a horror now. I need to rewatch it if I can find it. But she said, people can have more of a connection to their, their animals, cats, dogs, horses, etc., more than they can a human being, which is in my case is, yeah, I connect more. And I think that's why I'm struggling to get over Alfie is because I'm, he, I connected more with him than any other of my animals. I mean, I did with Biscuit because he were, I got him well before I got Alfie. Um, and um, <clears throat> I rescued Alfie. Um, and since, I don't know, since, I, I think it was about a year old when I, got him and they fleed him, he, he had mites in his ears and stuff and then he just went Psh, like Garfield. Um, so I feel like we connected on a, I don't know, he was always with me, where Biscuit were me the cat, Ginger and White cat. He was just, even if he would rather come to me when he wanted comforting, well he did come when I wanted it, I had to pick him up anyway to get the comfort. He, he comforted mom me on a night time where I could sleep better with Al, with Biscuit, with Alfie. He didn't want to sleep under covers in my arms. He wanted to sit on the bottom of the bed. But, because he liked to pee at the time everywhere, he had to go out on a night. Couldn't trust him. <laughs> um, but with Alfie, I just felt like he knew that I was sad. Sorry, I'm trying to stop getting upset because I'm, I'm still... You're all probably going to think, oh, it's just a cat, it's just a cat. And you stop banging on about it. But when you've connected, when you That animal was so close to you. For 15 years I've had him. It's going to be hard to know that it's not coming back. And then I... I don't know what happened there. And then when I'm seeing this magically now, since he passed... In November, just before Christmas, and that's that's a killer and all, just before Christmas. Um, there's a ginger, that cat keeps appearing, and I keep thinking I'm seeing, is that Alfie? Is that... Um, I've got to quickly finish because I've got to go in. But um, <clears throat> I'm like, is that Alfie? You know, there's another cat, and when he picked, it said, this cat eats out of bins and everything. So when the cat lifts it, said, oh, oh, no, it's not. So I keep seeing him and then I keep thinking it's him, but I know he's not coming back. But it's hard to deal with. And now with Ronnie being missing, I'm starting to get those feelings of oh, dread and please, not another cat. You know, I can't lose another cat. Um, and I've got, I'm trying to work on those fears of losing. I get, and that's another one, bit when she was talking about some people get more upset losing. An animal then and human which i know it's sad but it's true i feel like I, i'd cry like deadly uh if i cry like mad men when my animals pass, pass away then i have some people i know that sounds awful but it's when you feel that people don't give a two hoots about you anyway so i do get upset but not to the extent that i do with my animals I'm sorry if that sounds a bit awful, but I can't help it, you know what I mean? I get more of an affection off my cats than I do some folk. 
and animals are innocent, aren't they? They look up to you for love and affection. The people wind me up when they put fear into animals, hurt them, and are just plain nasty towards them. They don't deserve that. They're they're like a toddler. They, they need they need looking after. They can't tell you when then. You know what I mean? They need feeding, they need your help. They're innocent. Anyway, guys, I'm going to have to run in because I don't want them thinking I'm, I've not turned up. Didn't really want to come out today, but I'd rather have stayed in bed. But when my alarm went off, I said, right, I'll put it at 11.20. So I got up at 11.20. I went up and down anyway. But I thought, no, I'll, I nodded off a bit more. And then I, oh, sugar, I forgot. I got a bit of pee for half 12. <laughs> So I to, and then it's it's the end of the week, isn't it? So everyone's skin and everyone's got nothing because I'm due to go shopping. I need to get shopping in tomorrow. And Thomas, I obviously got up in the night and eat. You know, all, all him and Olivia had a sandwich when I, just as I was going to bed last night. And yeah, did I just say about that that um, person? I saw as I was so. Yeah, they're eating hot bread, so I had to go through five piece today. <laughs> um, so, last night, I I finished off on my phone because I put it on a, a dim light so it's not bright. And as I was putting the sleep sounds on afterwards, I just saw it caught me out of the corner of my eye at the bottom of my bed. And it was just a silhouette of a white, uh, uh, someone wearing white. I couldn't see the head, but as soon as I blinked and that had gone. So, yeah. Right, guys, I will catch up with you after my appointment. Cross fingers, I don't cry because I'm a horrible crier. And when I, I go red, all and you can tell, there's no doubt that I've been upset. I can't help it. Some people can cry, nothing. Mine just goes pfft, red, red, patch, patch, patch. Pardon me, pardon me. Right, I'll catch up with you in a bit. So I'm back home, guys, after that appointment and. I need to do something with this skin. <laughs> um, any ideas what cream can help? <laughs> so, I have to scrub teeth cover. So I'm back home. It went okay. I've not seen them now till Thursday. Hopefully a joint visit with my CPN. Look, I said to him, well, good luck getting hold of her because she's quite difficult to... Mm -hmm. Anyway, so, I was on my way home from from the appointment in the car and I started thinking, you know, when I get home, I'm going to write, rewrite the list that I plan to do for this year. Because already my year's just gone to pot anyway, so, you know, let's rewrite it. It's a fresh week next week and we'll see how that goes. <clears throat> so I'm in the kitchen because I've had to put the dryer on. No one's done the washing up. Again, you can hear kids screaming. Every time I come on a video, there's always something in there. So, still no sign of Ronnie when I come home. I'm trying to look, trying to think positive now. Um, sometimes I get like this after I've seen IHCT. Sometimes I feel a bit miserable after day, afterwards. But sometimes I get that positive feeling it doesn't last long. But I'm trying to, it's still here. So, I'm going to rewrite my list. Excuse me, fridge. It's got everything on top of it. I bet everyone's got something on top of their fridge freezer, in it? So, always look. It's just an extra shelf. What have you guys got on top of yours? <laughs> Is it collecting dust like mine? No, don't say that, Kath. So I'm in the kitchen. I filled the sink up because obviously the kids have not bothered doing the washing up um, last night when they've had munchies in the night. So I'm going to do that. Um, and then I'm going to get my, my pad of paper and I'm going to go sit in my room. I think I'm going to sage the house as well because, like I said, did I say it in the clip before, I can't remember, about seeing a, a white silhouette, someone at the bottom of my bed wearing white, and then as soon as I blinked it gone. So I'm going to sage my house because I'm not, I'm not only seeing it, my son has seen things when he's walking upstairs and he's looked up and there's something there in his face and then it goes. He gets scared more than I do. I mean, don't get me wrong, it did make me jump last night. Let me pop it down somewhere because I do need a crack on. With... I won't, in fact, no, I'll wait because I was babbling on for nearly eight minutes earlier. Sorry, I just I thought Olivia was coming through. Um, but it ain't, it's Hannah. Uh, I'll just. 
the output window. Um, it's a bit stuffy in here. Only problem is, I can't see it actually, better not. So, I'm going to get my pad of paper and I'm going to make a list of what I want to do. And I'm going to try and stick to it this time because it, obviously at the beginning of the year, things were going to pot and recently things have just been going from bad to worse. But now it's a fresh week and I'm going to make sure I have a positive week and not let anything or anybody ruin it. Um, I have a few messages to send as well and I'm looking forward to that. Oh, have you ever, I think I said it a minute ago when it's end up week and you've got to rage, you, your copper jar, you buy my silver jar in my case. I've got a tub with my two peas in that I tipped or um, emptied earlier because it had a few 20 peas and stuff in it. Uh, Olivia came down from Scotland when she was with her dad and brought that down. So I need to take that and put it in a, a bank. I need to open her bank account as well before she's 16 because otherwise we're going to have the same issues like I did with the older two. No ID and stuff. So, yes, it's horrible in the UK. ID for everything. Um, I remember when I got with her dad up. Uh, when I first got the dad and I, he had to help me get a bank account because I didn't have one either. Um, but luckily he didn't need, he only needed a birth certificate back then. Anyway, so like I say, I'm going to get a list. I'm going to, these floorboards out there need to really be sorted. So when I'm going to rip the flooring up, I'm going to put some talcum powder down. I've got told that's good for squeaky floorboards. But it's not even floorboards, it's like panels of wood's mine. So anyway, so I'm going to get a list. I'm going to write down like what I want to achieve by the end of the year. Um, I'm going to search my flat, get uh, all the negative feelings and, and whatever out of the house. Um, which will probably feel a lot lighter then. Because at the minute I, I, I'm feeling it so heavy and stuff and I think with all the emotions that have been going off with myself these past few weeks it's just kind of yeah anyway guys thanks again for watching I'm gonna leave you now because I've been barreling on for how long just spat everywhere and I might do a bit of I'm gonna do the washing up clean up a little bit probably have to rest after that because I'm gonna be tired I'm gonna have a look on Google and see what type of foods will help Vibro if you've got any suggestions pop a comment below if it's vitamins or something to do with memory please let me know because my memory is not the best and I would love to be able to remember things and if that means taking some vitamins or whatever to help that then I'm on for it because I don't want to be living the remainder of my life like this because no one would, would uh, not remembering what you said or letting things bother me either as well. Anyway, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you're new to this channel because it helps with the health of, health of rhythm. I, I can never say it. I, I struggle with pronunciation and grammar or whatever you want to call it. And press the notification bell and I'll catch up with you in the next video. Take care and enjoy the rest of your Sunday and let's think positive from now on. Bye-bye.